Welcome back to another video guys for the GS460. So a lot has happened since the last time you guys saw the vehicle. So we are currently um, at Jim's place. Say what's up to Jim. So we are gonna be putting um, spacers on temporarily until I get new wheels. Um, and so that way I can have perfect fitment. Uh, right now that's where it's like sitting and like it bugs me. So uh, we're gonna put some spacers on just for the time being. I have never bought spacers before, so um, I was kind of a little iffy about, you know, which ones are good, which ones are bad. So I just went with a reputable company and bought some from uh, Fitment Industries. They costed a little bit more, but uh, I wanted that, that security to know that my wheels are not gonna fall off, you know? All right, so while Jim is getting started on the Fitment, oh, actually we're gonna be rolling the fenders as well. Um, so that way I don't have no rubbing issues at all. I'm not gonna uh, roll them too much, just enough to where I can uh, fit that wheel in there and have that perfect fitment. Let me show you guys the spacers that I bought uh, from the measurements that I took uh, when we lowered the vehicle. Um, I needed about an inch. So this is two of them put together. I haven't uh, undone them yet. Obviously you can see they're still in the box. But um, yeah, these are from Fitment Industries. They are Adaptic Speedwear, um, you know, so, and they feel like really good, high quality um, spacers. I also have a new belt here. This one I bought from um, Rock Auto. I would highly recommend this one. It's from, it's a uh, Gates company. Cause like I said, there's a lot that's happened since the last time, um, you know, I've done a video and well, actually, I didn't even tell you guys about the, the new radiator. Maybe you guys saw it like on the Facebook group, uh, but I was doing like 120 on the freeway. I know. No, God, please, no, no, no. I usually don't, but, uh, it, was <laughs> but it was right after a car show and there was some SRT that was next to me. So, you know, I, I had to gun it, so. I ended up being the SRT, but I didn't get on film, so I can't even brag about it. But um, it cost me a radiator. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, basically uh, the radiator cracked on the freeway. Um, I was able to, to get it home and everything, found the, the leak and everything. Bought a new radiator from Rock Auto. I mean, I've been using Rock Auto for everything. Um, and if anything, I'll put down the exact radiator that I bought. Um, it, it is a Denzel one, so it's OEM. And I was looking at a um, high performance radiator, but to me, honestly, it just didn't make any sense to buy that right now when I can't even do any performance mods to the vehicle yet until I can for sure get a tune. Um, and as you guys know, like it's kind of hard to do with the GS460. There's not a lot of tuners out there that have that, that map for the ECU. So anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, Put a new radiator in. Um, Jim did that for me, so shout out to, to Jim. And um, so I put the new radiator, everything went smooth. Right after that, it started, the belt started squeaking. So I kind of figured, well, the coolant got on the belt, so that's probably why it's squeaking, yada, yada. Um, and I'll show you guys right now, but the belt is not aligned anymore and I already bought a new belt So I was like, you know what? I could just realign it and everything should be good I went ahead and just bought a new belt anyway So I know that is brand new and has been changed out recently I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see inside there right here is the belt and on this uh, tensioner pulley that one is um, not aligned. And if you could see it in person, you can obviously see that it's not aligned. So it is what it is. It does squeak quite a bit. If any, I'll turn on the car so you guys can hear how it sounds. And it's pretty bad. <laughs> so yeah, she doesn't sound the best right now. And I have been driving her for quite some time just because of the squeak. And you know, temporarily, when I when the squeak first started happening, I ended up buying this uh, belt conditioner from 
um, AutoZone and it helped out a lot. And um, yeah, that helped for, for a little bit. Um, but once I ran out of the can, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna buy another one when I already have the brand new belt. Um, but the car is looking good in my opinion. Just washed her this morning and it's looking really good. It's gonna look even better when we're able to get the, um, the roll of fenders and put the new spacers on and we'll do a little cinematic montage for you guys for the ride. Oh, and the coolest thing that I have done so far, check this out guys, you guys are gonna love this. So Jim's working on the wheel right now. Check this out. Boom! Is that a sticker? Nope. It's a magnet. Yeah. Yeah, I ended up finding um, a magnet and I threw the sticker on top of it and then I was able to cut it with an X-Acto knife. And now it is a magnet. I think it's super cool. I've seen a few people do it, but they do it with stickers and I'm not a big fan of putting stickers on the paint that's the best option you know what i'm surprised that a lot of car companies don't offer this like i would rock that for sure you know if i was able to put something on the body of the car and not mess up the paint i would definitely do it you know because then again i could have a whole row of these magnets right there and it would look super sick right and not mess up the paint like why not so let me know what you guys think about that and um let's get to it roll the fenders put the spacers on fix the belt here we go perfect perfect all done with the belt now wasn't too bad i would just recommend if you're gonna do it go underneath the vehicle and uh, go ahead and uh, release the tension on it seems to be the easiest way of doing it just make sure you have a diagram with you you can find them uh, on the internet pretty easy this is the old belt so as you can see it is pretty worn out um it's not too bad but you know it was enough to at least change it out and as you can see from turning it on there's no squeaks so i'm happy about that we double checked everything jim helped me out more like stared at me and made fun of me while I was doing it, but emotional damn. Got it in. Official mechanic now, so <laughs> um, at least I can drive the car around and it won't squeak. No problems with that. Car is super healthy. And Jim is still working on uh, rolling these fenders. I'm not gonna show you guys yet. I wanna show you guys uh, the final product when it's all done. But it's looking really, really good. You guys have to wait and see. So until then, peace. Hey guys, welcome back. So it's been a few days since Jim and I were able to roll the fenders, uh, put the new spacers on. We even put a new radiator, a new belt on. So we did a lot to the car and um, she's performing good. She looks good. The fitment on the wheels now look amazing. It's exactly what I wanted. 
And uh, like I said, you know, while we're, we're dealing with the stock wheels, I wanted the perfect fitment still. And that's what we got. So let me know your guys' opinion in the comments down below what you guys think of the build so far. Um, and it's crazy to, to think that I'm able to have such a beautiful car at $8,000, what I paid for the vehicle. And then on top of that, you know, everything that I'm doing to the vehicle, super, super cheap. I'm doing my own maintenance, so it's not costing an arm and a leg going to Lexus or going to Toyota uh, to have those maintenance things done. Not only that, um, all the mods that we're doing are fairly cheap, you know. So my next mods for the car, changing out the, the old yellow um, headlights. Uh, so I'm getting new bulbs for those. And honestly, those are like two bucks a piece. So not that expensive. Paint correction. Um, I mean, you're, you're talking uh, just the clay itself and then the polish, super cheap. So um, I'm not spending a whole bunch of money on this car and it's still able to look very, very good. Um, and I've had multiple people tell me, um, like random people, they'll, they'll tell me that um, it looks like a 2022 vehicle, which is crazy to hear, you know, for it being a 2008 and being you know, like a 14 year old vehicle. Um, so that's really cool to hear. Uh, not only that, I need to get better like using the camera uh, because I have so many interactions with the car like on the road. Just yesterday, I was uh, driving down the street and this scat bag pulled up right next to me, starts revving his engine. And I was like, okay, my car sounds better. So I start revving it. And I was like, oh yeah, my for sure sounds better than yours. So uh, he gets uh, the green arrow to turn left. He goes and he fishtails it all the way and nearly loses control. Starts like jerking it. I was like, what, dude? Like, don't be doing all that just to show off, man. Like, just take the L, man. <laughs> Alexis for the win, you know? But uh, let me know what you guys think of the build so far and the fitment, everything that we've, we're doing so far. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it and also what mods you want to see next on the build. So until next time, peace. That's the world we know